to feel relieved when their passengers return safely. Where to now? Love at first sight, sold at first strike. The wildfire used item auction is opening soon. If you are interested, head down to the vagrant camp and get involved. Outsider, I remember you. Perhaps you're hoping to find some treasures at the auction too. We're not sticklers at this auction. You'll find everything from exotic Bellabog rarities to tattered roadside socks. Well, after Wildfire got involved in the maintenance of the Vagrant Camp, they saw there was a big resource distribution problem. People would rather keep a stockpile of useless objects than exchange them for useful resources. So we intend to hold a public auction. We'll allow folks to make the best use of the stuff they have by exchanging it for the stuff they need. It's mostly vagrants from the camp, but Boulder Town residents are welcome to join as well, of course. The more attendees we have, the more items there will be for trade, and the better we can meet the auction's goal. Buyers and sellers must all register their personal information. To ensure the quality of items, the sellers must also register details for each item. Then there's the standard auction procedure. The auctioneer presents the items, and the bidders place their bids on the spot. Pretty straightforward, don't you think? Oh, plenty! Gloves used by Chief Oleg, the domestic robot that Miss Fedora built. There are lots of prospectors hunting for ancient relics in the vagrant camp, so there should be a lot of unique items at this auction. For example, I heard that one of the goods up for auction is a barely used Geomero probe. Ah, oh, never heard of a treasure like that before, huh? More excited about the auction now? Oh! Here, take this pamphlet. It has more information on all the rarities up for auction. Remember to stop by the Vagrant Camp. Be there, or be square. I should tell Hook about the Geomero probe. She might want to help Fursman get his treasure back. about to go see you. Daddy's already planned his birthday party, but I haven't been able to sell Jun Jun or buy a gift for him. What should I do? I don't remember. You think of something. I was just about to ask you about the probe. I don't remember. You found some clues? 
The auction. So that's where the probe is? Huh. Do you think Hook's stupid or something? At the auction, I can sell Junjun and buy a birthday gift for Daddy. <laughs> yeah! Mm, Junjun is still with the old witch. Let's go get him and then register for the auction. Witchy old Natasha! <laughs> have, a, have you finished fixing Jun Jun? Oh, your teddy bear? <laughs> He's nearly done. Here, take a look at him. Wow, <laughs> he looks brand new! Natasha, you're incredible. Glad to be of service. <laughs> now then, did you really bring her over here with you just to pick up Jun Jun? Come on now, what are you guys up to this time? We're going to the auction! Ah, uh, no, no, that's not what we're going to do. Hey, you big mouth! The auction? The one at the Vagrant Camp? So you made me go through all this effort to repair Jun Jun just so you could sell him? I... um... Psst, I don't remember! Think of something! <laughs> you two make an adorable duo. I was only joking, Huck. Jun Jun is yours, and it's entirely up to you what you do with him. But you must make one promise to me. Like, what is it? Don't go charging into the Fragmentum again. Mr. Fursman heard about what you did and came to me to find out what happened. Your dad worries about you. Stop giving him reasons to. Daddy? Mm, okay. I swear I'll never meet Natasha or Daddy worry again. I'm going to have to trouble you to keep an eye on this kid again. You seem to be doing a good job, so I'll leave it at that. Off you go then, and good luck. Thanks, Natasha. Honorary member, let's head to the auction. Are you here to take part in the auction? Yep. Huck wants to auction this teddy bear. Teddy bear? How about I take a look at it first, little missy? <sighs> With all due respect, I don't think this item will generate much interest at the auction. I don't see any value in it. Hmm. Okay, let me take another look. The craftsmanship is excellent, and the fabric is soft, but I'm afraid that won't command a high price on its own. The eyes. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's natural Erebus. <laughs> what are precious gems doing on such an ugly teddy? Hey, who are you calling ugly? Take that back. Well, 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 who'd have thought it? <laughs> Allow me to make a suggestion. You should only auction off the gems. What are you talking about? You can't just take Jun Jun's eyes off. All right, all right. Don't get upset, little missy. I'll respect the wish of the owner and keep Jun Jun here intact. Please, sign this commodity contract here. Uh, let me do it. And if you and your friend would like to bid, please fill out this buyer registration form as well. Of course we'd like to bid. I'll sign again. Honorary member, ask about the probe. 
probe. Are you talking about the geo marrow probe? As far as I know, there are a lot of people interested in acquiring that device. The estimated sale price is no less than 600 shield. Because it's a rare and useful treasure, the Geomaro probe will be up for bidding in the final round of the auction. But don't worry, the gems on your teddy bear are also very valuable. You'll have the chance to bid on the probe if someone's willing to pay a high price for him. Oh, then we'll be counting on you. I'll tell you a secret. The more bidders there are, the more you can get for your bear here. The place is teeming with potential buyers. It only takes a gentle nudge to get them to join in. Hook doesn't get it. What are we supposed to do? Ah, oh, is true love really that useful? <laughs> Let's ask around. Jinjun's super cute. I'm sure there'll be loads of people interested in buying him. No ordinary teddy bear. Oh, uh, sorry. I was in a bit of a trance. I didn't know someone was about to strike up a conversation. Huh. You don't look like you'll be bidding on much. So, I'll tell you. That teddy bear's eyes are genuine Erebus. But it's so absurd. I don't understand why precious gems would be sewn onto a teddy bear. Is this some new kind of scam? So you don't think Junjun deserves those gems? <laughs> Junjun? Who's that? It's okay. I didn't take it to heart. In any case, Erebus of that purity is hard to come by in the underworld. I have to get my hands on that bear, even if it means breaking the bank. <laughs> mm, Junjun will break your bank for sure. The gemologist will be bidding too. Hook's teddy bear may be the center of attention. Don't try making conversation with me! I don't trust anyone here! I'm warning you, there's only one winner at an auction. Everyone here is one of my competitors. <sighs> what a weird man. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. You think I can't hear you, you little brat? You're sellers, right? I just got sight of a teddy bear on the bid list. Is that <laughs> you two with your poker faces? You got a trick up your sleeves with that bear. This guy thinks that the whole world is against him. What should we do, honorary member? Trying to dupe me into not bidding on it, huh? Fine, then I will bid on it. I won't let this opportunity slip. What a weirdo. Anyway, at least we've tricked him into bidding for it. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, His design is super cute, and he's really, really soft. You can't help but give him a big hug. You'll have sweet dreams every night as long as Jun Jun's by your side. In tree. According to the old witch, some people aren't good at talking in front of other people. Why not ask him to write his thoughts down? Here. Right! We could find the auctioneer now and kick off the bidding. Although there is still some time left. We could also see if we missed any buyers. Please wait a moment. The auction will begin shortly.
The next item has been provided by Hook, a gemstone collector from Boulder Town. It's a handmade teddy bear adorned with Erebus. An innovative design, it combines incredibly valuable Erebus gemstones with a, a, a good old-fashioned cuddly teddy bear. The open- Great 25! Oh, you're adding 25. Isn't that... Hey, what's the problem with 325? That's my offer! 350! I'm putting my reputation as a gemologist on the line. I have to get my hands on that Erebus. Add another hundred shield! 450 going once, any buyers going higher? 450 shield for the Erebus teddy bear going twice, any other offers? 450 shield going three times and sold! Phew, the gems belong to me. Oh, I hope this money is enough to buy the probe. You're right. Let's do this. The bidding for the Geomaro probe has been postponed due to unanticipated complications at the venue. Please be patient and don't leave the auction if you want to bid on it. Don't worry, everyone. Just a minor technical issue. We'll take a quick break now and the auction will resume soon. A break? Mm. Do you think there's something wrong with the Geomero probe? Uh, let's go ask that staff member. What happened to the Geomero probe? You tell me right now, straight uh, up. <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. It's just a technical issue. You don't sound very convincing. <gasps> Did someone steal it? Well, we can't say for sure that it was stolen. We've contacted the seller and sent some people in search. We should soon be able to... Yeah. Why wasn't Wildfire keeping a lookout? I gotta catch the thief and get the probe back. Any ideas, honorary member? Are you suggesting that someone altered the registration form? Uh, that's simply not possible. We've been keeping a close eye on everything. <sighs> Fool! What the honorary member means is that the thief only came here to create trouble. They weren't interested in buying or selling, right? When the going gets smart, the boss of the moles gets smarter. Wait a minute. Let me see. Hmm. Aside from you... There was someone else who registered as a buyer, but never put in a bid. And I think there was a miner who registered with him. Come on, let's go and interrogate them. Hi, excuse me. May I ask where the miner who registered with you has gone? Him? I think he went back into town. So, he already ran away. He came here saying he wanted to buy the Geo Marrow probe, but then he changed his mind for some reason and ran back to Boulder Town alone. I don't know him all that well. Why don't you just head into town and look for him? Do you really think he'll turn out to be a thief? I'm not so sure now. <clears throat> anyway. Outsiders, you should go and look for him in Boulder Town. I need to make sure the other buyers haven't left. If you don't find anything, the thief might still be among us. Let's head back to Boulder Town and catch the thief! Getting late. That thing's been cursed. Where to now? Hey, you! Did you take the Geomero probe? Hand it over right now! Huh? What? Who are you? Where are the people I'm supposed to meet up with? 
Honorary member. We shouldn't waste any time talking to him. Let's just knock him out. <laughs> what could a couple of brats do to me? Do you even know how much the probe is worth? Mm, you two better think twice. The boss put in a lot of effort to find this item. If you even... Enough talk! How about a digger drug knuckle sandwich? Unavoidable. You're saying that the Geo Marrow probe would fetch at least 600 shield. 600 shield. Have you ever seen that much money? You? Yeah, right. I don't believe you. How about this? The boss, along with a few buddies and I, we put together 600 shield and buy the probe from you. Hmm? No! Hook won't do that! Come on, Missy. Don't be so stubborn. We can talk it over. Mm, I see. You just want to keep the probe to yourselves, right? Ugh. And here I was thinking I'd met some nice people. You're worse than I am. Uh, maybe it did in the beginning, but... Things have changed now. Let's go, honorary member. Back to the auction. Wait a minute. You're just gonna give it back? That's 600 shield! 600! At least think about it! There's nothing to think about, Mr. Thief. I want this detector, but I don't want to be a louse like you. We're gonna win it at the auction fair and square. Let's go. Got the pro back? Amazing! Fantastic! The owner asked me to pass on 150 shield as a reward for retrieving it. And thanks to you, the auction house has regained its credibility. Please, accept an extra 50 shield. That's... 200 shield! Really? You've earned it. Besides, if you win the bid for the Geomero probe, you'll have paid back the seller anyway, right? Well, I didn't say that, but you could certainly interpret it that way. Puck generously accepts the reward. We've got 650 shield for the auction! Ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, the technical issue has been resolved. The second half of the auction is about to commence. Please gather in an orderly manner. 
The next item up for auction has been provided by a veteran prospector from the Vagrant Camp. It's an ancient relic, a Geomarrow probe. The item itself was once a key component of another old world relic, and its one-of-a-kind craftsmanship has long since ceased to exist. This meticulously preserved probe is a rare work of art. The opening bid is 400 shield. 450! 480! 520! 550! 560! Order, order! You're just throwing bids out at random! 650! 700! 720! <laughs> Everyone's looking at us! What should we do? But we only have 650 shield! 720! 720, going twice! 750. Oh, a new challenger enters. 750 shield. 750 shield, going twice. 750 shield, going three times. And sold! Congratulations to the winner. The next item up for auction is... Oh. Daddy's Geo Barrow Probe. Huck still thinks the probe is the best gift. Uh, just now, I thought I saw the old witch. Is Huck imagining things? Uh, what does it matter? Huck didn't get the gift. I'll have to go back and ask the old witch for ideas. Getting late. Where to now? <laughs> Natasha. Hook, what's wrong? Has someone been bullying you? Mine and Daddy's birthday party is starting soon, but I haven't bought Daddy his gift yet. So, the auction didn't go too well, huh? Ugh, it's true. It's ridiculous that a single probe can fetch 750 shield. Huh? You are the auction too, Natasha? Hook, you're upset that you don't have a gift for your Daddy, right? Well, what about this? Huh? The Geo Marrow probe from the auction! How'd you get it? I wasn't planning on saying anything, but I saw a couple of very sad looking faces in the crowd. What do you think, Hook? Are you willing to buy the Geo Marrow probe from me? Well, this is all the money we got for Jun Jun. Here, it's all yours. Hmm, let's have a count. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be enough. Hook could also help Natasha clean the clinic for... half a month? Three months. Three months? Oh, witchy old. Natasha! Let's negotiate. Uh-uh. No bargaining. By the way, Hook, how are your birthday party plans coming along? Have you invited this young lady? Big sister, do you want to come to my birthday party? Great. Uh, I'll contact the other members of the moles, too. Come find me when you're ready. We'll go together. The 
big hero you mentioned is here. Julian, knock it off. Ah, uh, you heard that? Well, don't get too cocky, honorary member. We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it too? Well, Aunt Gertie always makes a big black bean cake for Hook's birthday. Oh, oh, and Daddy always makes a huge roasted rock crab for me. Oh, it makes my mouth water just thinking about it. And don't forget about Diggertron. Daddy brings a year's worth of machine oil and Diggertron drinks it all up. I'm the boss of the moles. If I don't get enough to eat, how will I have the energy to punish villains? We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it too? Well, I had to invite Daddy first. Speaking of birthdays, Daddy never used to celebrate them. He only started doing it when he adopted Hook. I also invited other members of the moles and... Oh, yeah, Zila too. I mean, she couldn't come today, but she said she'd still send me a gift. <laughs> I also invited the old witch, Sweta, and you, of course, the honorary member. We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it, too? I do hope you will forgive the ramblings of an old man, but I... I would like to say a few words. I had no idea when my birthday was before I adopted Hook. And I most certainly did not celebrate it. I didn't realize how important birthday celebrations were until I met my daughter. That is why I chose to have my birthday on the same day as Hook, so that we could celebrate this special day together. That continued year after year until I too began to look forward to the party. Today is an extra special day. In addition to the moles, Hook has invited a dear and brave new friend. I hope you have a wonderful time at the party today. Natasha told me that you helped Hook retrieve a teddy bear. It used to be that Hook could only fall asleep when she held that bear in her arms. Daddy, don't bring that up. Uh, Hook's grown up now. I can sleep without hugging Jun Jun. Life has gotten increasingly difficult since we left the mining town. All those days away at work have meant that your dad hasn't always been around to look after you. But fortunately, Joan June was always with you to keep you company when I wasn't around. I... Oh, Daddy, I... I have to tell you something. I... I sold Joon Joon! sold him. Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I don't need a doll to keep me company anymore. Natasha, the moles, and the honorary member will keep me company from now on, so I won't be lonely. You sold him. I truly am an incompetent father. I had no idea. Not true. I know you care about me the most, Daddy. I just didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. Huh. Thank you, Hook. But the birthday gift I've chosen is... Uh... Huh? What did you get for me, Daddy? Th this... A teddy bear's cap? Clothes and a dresser? And a little home for him. Toy-making companies are increasingly scarce this year. I had to travel to different towns. I never expected June June might have been sold. <laughs> what a shame. Oh, it's okay, Daddy. Don't cry. Uh, Natasha will teach me how to make another doll. Oh, yeah. I got a gift for you, too. Open it and take a look. For me? I'm curious. It's the Geomaro probe. 
and she helped me to bid for it at the auction. I bought it with the money I got from selling Jun Jun. With this, you should be able to repair the vein detector. Right, Daddy? Daddy? Thank you so much, Hook. Daddy really likes this birthday gift. But, uh... <laughs> I... I might not be able to use it right now. Huh? Well, why not? It's like this, Hook. I... bought your gift with the money I got from selling the vein detector. Huh? So, my gift is also useless. Oh. Hook, do you still like the gift I got for you? Of course! Your gifts are the best in the world! Well, I feel the same way about your gift, Hook. Me and you are in the same boat. Everything outside the window is the universe? The stars look like candy! Endless candy. You're pretty stupid for an honorary member. How can you grab stars from so far away? All these stars surrounding us? The Express is like a traveling theme park warp jumping through candy. Which means... You live inside a warp jumping candy theme park? Oh, not fair. <laughs> Hook hereby declares the Astral Express the mall's newest adventure route. Full speed ahead, honorary member. 